Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Greatest Record Ever Made. I'm Carl Caffarelli, the co-host of This Is Rock and Roll Radio with Dana and Carl. Heard every Sunday night from 9 to midnight Eastern right here in Syracuse on Spark, WSPJ, 103.3, 93.7 FM, and on the web at sparksyracuse.org. I'm also a writer, and I've been working on a book called The Greatest Record Ever Made, Volume 1, dedicated to the notion that an infinite number of songs can each be the greatest record ever made as long as they take turns. Records. They do. Subject of this week's rant is a 1970s single by Melanie with the Edwin Hawkins Singers, Lay Down, Candle in the Rain. It is a late addition to the book. It's something that wasn't in any earlier uh, proposal for the, the, the book's table of contents. And organically, the way we listen to pop music, it's something that occurred to me, a song that I loved when I was younger, and I haven't thought much about in recent years. Um, but then my friend Rich Firestone sent me a CDR of a double album collection that I used to have when I was a teenager in the 70s, Dick Clark's 20 Years of Rock and Roll, and that was the only Melanie track I ever owned was on there, the Lay Down, Lay Down Candles in the Rain. And hearing the CDR reminded me of how much I used to love that song, so we played it on the radio. I wrote it up that week in, uh, I'm a, I have a weekly blog piece on my blog, Boppin' Like the Hip Folks Do, called 10 Songs, where I pick 10 songs that we played on the radio show and write a little a little something about each one of them. And then uh, it lingered in my mind how much I love the song, and I decided to take the original 10 Songs piece that I'd written Expand it by a few more paragraphs and make it a chapter in the book. From Small Things Mama, a book might eventually come. Uh, so speaking of Melanie with the Edwin Hawkins Singers, Lay Down, Candle in the Rain. Here's the chapter. It goes a little something like this. My mom hated Melanie. I, I mean, it wasn't anything personal. If Melanie Safka had shown up at our house or something, I'm sure mom would have offered her a bite to eat and a chance to sit and relax for a bit, all the while politely begging Ms. Safka not to sing. The distaste, the distaste was based purely on artistic grounds. When Mom was working at a factory, Melanie's 1971 hit Brand New Key came on the radio. It came on the radio repeatedly, as hit records are inclined to do. Over the clang and clatter of hardware and machinery, the waifish voice trilling, I got a brand new pair of roller skates, you got a brand new key, reached Mom's ears like Trotsky's ice pick. Mom thought it was the worst approximation of music she'd ever heard. Experiencing the song again at a later time outside the factory, away from the industrial thrum and bang of assembly work, did not improve Mom's initial impression, nor did any subsequent spin improve Mom's view of the song. Noise. This is pop music? I was 11 years old at the time. And while I may have enjoyed teasing Mom about this song she disliked so much, I didn't have any particular love of it either. But. Although Brand New Key's hit Rain in 71 was the first time I recall hearing Melanie's name in connection with a song, it was not the first Melanie song I knew. In September of 1970, when I was entering sixth grade, one of my favorite radio records was Look What They've Done to My Song, Ma, which was written by Melanie and a hit for the New Seekers. Listening now to both the New Seekers single and Melanie's own recording of that song, I'd swear it was actually Melanie that I heard on the radio as middle school beckoned. That doesn't seem likely. It was almost certainly the New Seekers getting airplay on AM Top 40 in Syracuse, my stubborn contrary memory notwithstanding. But I betcha I also heard Melanie's first top 10 hit, Lay Down Candles in the Rain, earlier that same year, when I was still safely ensconced in elementary school. What a terrific uplifting song, with the sanctified might of the Edwins Hawkins singers lifting Melanie up to soar as high as the angels above. I'd had no real use for the straight black gospel sound of the Edwin Hawkins singer's huge 1969 hit, Oh Happy Day, when I was nine. But Lay Down effortlessly mingled their celestial sound with Melanie's folk singer vibe. And it all wound up as pop music. Irresistible pop music. Forget the damn roller skates. Lay Down Candles in the Rain is the key right there. We were so close, there was no room. We bled inside each other's wounds. Well, the lyrics pin this one to the Vietnam War era. Lay Down Candles in the Rain was inspired by Melanie's performance at Woodstock, a song written to express how it felt for her to see this massive crowd, perhaps not really a half million strong, but giving the impression of a large, large number. As she sang and played her own songs of peace, the rain came down. You can hear her on the Woodstock 2 album, performing My Beautiful People and Birthday of the Sun, 
dedicating her, dedicating her music with a giggle to the beautiful wet people. You can hear her smile. You can hear her belief. After Woodstock, Melanie took all of what she'd seen, all of what she felt, and turned it into lay down candles in the rain. Raise the candles high. If you don't, we could stay black against the night. The Edwin Hawkins singers provide amazing grace, immortal soul, and oh happy day's journey into night. Raise them higher again. We could stay dry against the rain. In the 70s, I listened to my sister's copy of Woodstock 2, transferring, transferring Melanie's My Beautiful People, along with tracks by Jefferson Airplane and Joan Baez, to cassette mixtapes I made by placing my little deck right next to one of the stereo speakers. You can laugh at my lo-fi approach, but I'm still pretty sure that's how Kate Tell did it. In high school, I bought a cutout copy of the two-album compilation, Dick Clark, 20 Years of Rock and Roll. A collection which included Melanie's Lay Down Candles in the Rain. It was the first and only Melanie track I ever owned. The set also included Oh Happy Day, among its varied treats by Dion, Otis Redding, The Shangri-Las, Fats Domino, and Tommy James and the Shondells. It did not credit the Edwin Hawkins singers on the Melanie track. And I doubt I even realized it was them singing those heavenly lay down, lay downs behind our Melanie. I didn't appreciate Hawkins and ensemble at the time. I, I do now. I did appreciate Melanie, and I confess that it wasn't just on account of her singing. I was a boy. When Brand New Key was still a recent radio memory, I saw some photographs of Melanie for the first time. And the notion of lying down with her seemed very appealing to this 11-year-old. I don't think mom would have approved. Thank you for joining us this week for the greatest record ever made. Below, you can see options to support and support to, to support and subscribe and to tip. Lay down, lay down. Um, next week, I don't know yet. I haven't decided if, I, if I'm going to go sequentially or pick something else at random from further in the book. You'll know when I do. But in the meantime, I thank you for joining us here on The Greatest Record Ever Made. <laughs>